And would you believe, I've just got a signal underneath a rock, or a slab of concrete I should say, maybe it's a bit of an old footpath, I'm not sure, and I've dug down about that far, and I was losing confidence because the signal was a little bit erratic, um, but you know, never give up, keep going, and it was underneath a little bit of a, uh, a, a root here, and I've just popped open what looks like a coin spill, and I can see two coins side by side, one of them looks to be copper, one of them looks to be silver, and if I just move this one across, I've made a mistake already. It was three coins, side by side, and that's what I think I'm looking at. So I'm gonna grab the first one out now. What a beautiful sight that is. One, two, three. No wonder the signal was a bit iffy. Okay, first one looks to be a penny, Second one looks to be a half penny. Beautiful. That's an oldie, Commonwealth of Australia too. Then the penny. Don't know about the half penny yet, but this looks very suspiciously like a shilling. It is a shilling, it's a silver shilling. It's an oldie. Wow, okay. Seriously good stuff guys. Okay, the silver shilling, 92.5% silver, looks to be like a 1911. And the penny and the half penny are pretty badly corroded. I may not get a date off them. I can see another coin. So it wasn't a three coin spill. It's a four coin spill. And it's another silver. Looks to be a sixpence. It is a sixpence. Beautiful silver sixpence. Okay, the latest addition to the four coin spill is a 1948 sixpence. So this lot here, if they were lost uh, around about that time, they'd be probably 60 years they've been down there. Yay. beautiful 1944 kangaroo penny right in the zone I won't try and get a date on that one just at the moment so there's one and I'll put him in my pocket on this half of the plug which I've just um, flipped over like that I can see an impression right here so that'll be down this end of the uh, hole so let's see if I can just scoop this out Oh, hang on, I can see it already. Right there. Don't know what it is yet. Oh, it's a badge. Oh, look at this. Oh, yes. What a beautiful looking badge. Oh, that's awesome. That is so awesome. Gilt badge, it's got gold on it. I'll just give it a quick wash. Stand by one tick. That is magic. What a beautiful looking badge. And what have we got? We have got a half penny, Commonwealth of Australia. Beautiful 1917 Commonwealth of Australia half penny. Right in the two up school. It's another half penny. And it's another Commonwealth of Australia half penny. Date's a little bit worn on this one. Looks to be a 1912. The rest of it's in fine shape. So uh, pretty happy about that. Okay, let's see if there's any more. Keep going. Well, I just got a 32 signal and I was just about to ID it as a half penny. And I cracked open the plug with my hands and out pops a beautiful silver threepence. And let's have a look at this one. Oh, hello, George. George the sixth. See if we can get a date on this. Stand by. Turn him over. Beautiful 1943. Okay, another beautiful 28 signal. Just pulled the clump out, and there she is. Beautiful trippins staring right back at me. Okay. 
and this one is a 1950 by the look of it yay beautiful 1950 thruppence okay you just saw me get the 1950 thruppence and I just looked over into the uh, into the uh, Raven 25 and I saw this impression so right next to the 1950 thruppence is another coin yep beautiful penny okay so we've got two coins beautiful 1958 kangaroo penny right next door to the thruppence I just pulled the plug out and it's a beautiful Commonwealth of Australia one penny and it looks to be in excellent condition I'm pretty excited about this one. It's a 1911 Commonwealth of Australia one penny and it looks to be in excellent condition. Okay. I can see it already. Right there. Right in the centre of the plug. 1948. George VI. New beauty. Oh, hang on a minute. Uh, did you see my hand? I just, I just, <laughs> I just picked up the excess. <laughs> I thought it was the impression I was picking up, and in my fingers there's another coin. <laughs> oh, look at that! And you can see on the back of this half penny, there's the outline of another coin. <laughs> can you see that? <laughs> oh, you know, I'll see if I can get it in a better, better light. Oh boy. So we've got a penny and a half penny. And we had another coin resting on the half penny and I can see it straight away. Right there. It's a beautiful thruppence. <laughs> oh crikey. A three coin spill. I've had I've had three coin spills today. And that's a beautiful silver thruppence. And it's a 1943 by the look of it. Yeah. Excellent condition. Wow, what a day in the park guys. And tomorrow. I don't think I'll go detecting because tomorrow is Friday the 13th. Yay! <laughs> but look at that. Beautiful penny, half penny, and a thruppence. And the half penny is a 1947 kangaroo half penny. You beauty! But another penny. And. Oh! What have we got here? Oh, Commonwealth of Australia. You beauty. This one is a 1934 Commonwealth of Australia half penny. And it's only down a couple of inches, as you can see. And I just got another faint signal, and I dug the uh, plug out, and I can see the coin straight away. And it's a half penny. 1951. What a beauty. Got another fairly strong signal. 42-44 range and I've just taken the plug out and it shows you how deep it is and I've just scooped the excess out and we've got what have we got aha we've got the impression and that's pretty cool now where's the coin oh there she is okay and it's a beautiful Commonwealth of Australia halfpenny in excellent condition and it's a 1922 you beauty and I've got another really good signal and I've just taken the plug out and I've just looked over into the plug and I was looking at these things here and then I saw this and that looks to be like a silver to me Looks to be very interesting. Oh, hang on a tick. What is this? Okay, I don't know what this is. It's um, it says 1914-1918, and obviously there's uh, a monarch riding a horse, and it has George on the back, George the uh, fifth, by the look of it.
hang on, might be a medallion commemorating the, yeah, I can see a little bit on the top there. I think it's a uh, medallion comm commemorating the 1914-1918 war. All right, what a beauty. So I dug around, I'm still getting this scratchy signal sort of all over the place and I'm looking, looking, looking and finally pro pointed it right here and it's another silver. That's a beautiful threepence. Hey, 1949 silver threepence. You beauty. Couple of swings over, another great signal and another half penny. And this one, this one's a 1943 half penny. Beautiful 44 signal, and it looks like a penny, but it looks like it's seen a hard life. Look at that corrosion on there. Yo, and I can already see it's a Commonwealth of Australia penny, so it's quite an old one. So, uh, yay. I don't know how she's going to survive this. Ah, there she is. Little half penny. Beauty, kangaroo halfpenny, and 1945. Okay, out of a hole about three inches deep. Another great signal, another great target, and another great halfpenny. I might wait till I get home to watch this one, and I'll let you know what the date is at the end. I think I'm in a time warp. A little bit of deja vu. Great signal, great target, great coin. Yay! And another half penny, Commonwealth of Australia. That's in good condition. And I will wait till I get home before I uh, uh, get a date on that one. Oh, another C of A. Cheers all. Thanks for watching. Good luck and happy hunting.